Also in Asia, North Korea wants the world to know that it's aggressively moving forward with its nuclear weapons program. This after launching more missiles over the weekend. But how does a country like North Korea afford something as expensive as a nuclear weapons program? A new report from the United Nations may hold the answer. Michelle Caruso Cabrera has the details. The new U.N. report details how North Korea makes millions by selling arms to countries in Africa and the Middle East and billions selling coal and iron ore to China. One example in the report, a ship seized by Egypt in the Suez Canal was carrying shipments of 30,000 rocket-propelled grenades from North Korea, destination unclear. The report shows the country sells various armaments through a company called Glowcom, short for Global Communications, which advertises on the Internet and makes almost no efforts to hide its North Korean origins. And there are many front companies like Glowcom in the report, which are registered in Malaysia or China in order to try and hide their North Korean roots, but not very well. North Korean diplomats have been repeatedly caught smuggling banned goods such as gold bars, cash, watches, even this Bentley. Investigators also discovered that the SWIFT system, the international payment system, still processes transactions for North Korean banks, even though some of those banks are supposed to be banned from using the global financial system by U.N. sanctions. I've reached out to SWIFT and am waiting for an explanation. But North Korea's biggest influx of cash, more than a billion dollars last year, came from selling coal and iron ore to China. China has promised to curtail those purchases more than once, but it hasn't happened. The U.N. and the panel of experts authoring the report have asked China for an explanation. For Nightly Business Report, Michelle Caruso Cabrera.